The Azimio Lomoja One Kenya Coalition now wants the suspension of the Finance Act 2023 as a stopgap measure to cushion Kenyans from the high cost of living, even as talks within the National Dialogue Committee continue. Through a list of several proposed interim measures, Azimio seeks to have Kenya Kwanzaa agree to their temporal proposals as a way of establishing the government's commitment to their talks. Senior political affairs reporter Ibrahim Karanja with the details. Thursday's strides into the bombers of Kenya for the continuation of talks with their Kenya Kwanzaa counterparts might as well be the defining make or break moment for the Azimio delegates. The Karonzo Musioka led team will be bringing along a raft of proposals which they want implemented by President William Ruto as stopgap measures to stop existing concerns. Their push to have the interim measures implemented, also seeking to establish the level of KK's commitment to the talks. A document seen by NTV shows that the Finance Act 2023 is among the burning concerns for Zimio, and they are now calling for its repealing to cushion Kenyans. The Act had introduced new tax measures leading to the current high cost of living, according to Azimio. The proposal to repeal the Act is to allow the two sides to agree on how to emancipate Kenyans from the high cost of living, including over taxation. The second interim demand by Azimio is that its constituent parties be allowed to dewhip its rebel members without obstruction from the offices of the speakers of both houses. The crux of this demand being the clamor by the Jubilee Party to have minority whip in the National Assembly Sabina Chege relinquish her position in favor of Embakasi West's Mark Mwenje and the push by ODM to have rebel members of parliament to seek a fresh mandate for dalliance with President William Ruto. There also is the battle for the Jubilee Party currently ongoing in the courts. The two proposals are part of an array of other issues expected to be tabled on Thursday and Kenya Kwanzaa's reception of the two will be a thing to keenly observe since the government is highly depending on the Finance Act to continue with its agenda and any attempts to stop its implementation may be met with brute opposition from the Kimani Ishungwa-led team. Ibrahim Karanja, NTV.